You have been using whitening product on your skin to appear brighter, lighter, or even whiter. Then you need a body button. This I can tell you. Hey guys, good day. My name is Vanessa Yvonne Suarez and you're welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time that you're dropping by or maybe stopping by, do well to hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you get to see videos like this anytime I post them. In today's video, we're going to be discussing about body butters. What are body butters? How exactly can you use body butters on your skin? What are the kind of actives that you can use in your body butters? So, what are body butters? Body butters are mainly oils. They are mainly oils that are solid in room temperature. Now, what do I mean? I mean, when you put an oil together in to uh, make it solid, you put this particular oil, you put this particular oil, you put this particular oil, you mix both of them together, and then you make sure they go solid, maybe by putting it in the freezer, or maybe by, uh, you know, introducing some sort of chemical bonds into it to make it hydrogenated, or to make it solid. Automatically, that is called a butter. Simple fact, they are just oils that are thicker in room temperature. They are very much thicker than your body lotions, your body creams, your body creams, your body milks, and your um, body lotion. A butter is very greasy, it has a very heavy texture, and uh, they look very solid, like balm-like. That is what a body butter is. If you have bleached your skin, if you have also used lightening products in the past, say for example, you have used um, products that contain steroids and all, then you definitely need a body butter to help to repair it, okay? So body butters, most of them contain something known as palmitic acid. Palmitic acid is very good for repairing the skin. It will really help to heal and protect the skin of its protective, the outer skin, that's the barrier, the first layer of your skin. So they create a protective film on it. So moisture isn't going out and moisture isn't coming in. All right, just stay there. So they lock in the moisture inside your skin and then they trap it right there. So nothing goes out, nothing comes in. Okay, so they protect it from evaporating and then they also protect it from coming out so that is exactly what a butter does okay if you want to brighten or if you want to lighten up you should be using an um, liquid oil or maybe you should be using a lotion for that or maybe a body serum for that and then you protect your skin with your butters now there are ways to go about it if you want to force penetration if you want to force the product if you want the product to do about two things, then that means you need to add a lot of ingredients. Or if you want to add a particular penetration enhancer to make sure that your body butter does multi-jobs for your skin. So how exactly do you do this? I know you want a product that would lighten up your skin, protect your skin, and also protect and moisturize your skin. And sometimes the body butters will do this, but they would not go as far as your normal whitening product will go. You know why? Because they have limited um, room for actives to come in. Now, what exactly do I mean? Your water-based product, your water-based ingredient, most of the butters that we know are always oil-based. They're anhydrous product, okay? And your um, creams, your lotions, they are all emulsions. These ones have a mixture of both water and oil in them. So they may do amazing. So they have that versatile nature of adding both water, water soluble actives and oil soluble actives together so that they do amazing on your skin. But the butters are mainly just oil based. So whatever active that you're gonna be adding to the oil or to your butters needs to be oil soluble. 
all right if they're not oil soluble it's definitely not going to do anything on your skin and you may just end up with something you definitely wouldn't like on your skin so if you want to make sure if you want to whiten up your skin really well the thing you need to do is to make sure you're using a body butter on your skin three to four times weekly this is really going to help your skin to build your skin and also it will make sure that your skin is moisturized enough for it to glow when you're using your whitening product or those damaging products so mainly what people do they use their body butter sometimes to also make stretch marks products because this product will definitely help to cover up the skin and moisturize the skin deeply and it will do good on your skin and this is why you want a body butter in your skin regime okay now how do you create a body butter now when creating body butters you want to make sure like i said you are using oil soluble actives for them and don't try to blend try to extract these oils yourself it's really not advisable that you extract them yourself say for example you are getting um carrot right now you want to make a carrot butter and then eventually you just make you go and get carrot from the market you grate it and then you do carrot oil and use carrot oil for it you are going to be using carrot why exactly are you using carrot what exactly is in carrot that you're thinking about using in it are you using it because of its high dose or its high quantity of carotenoids or retinol then if that is the case why don't you just get you know the main active in the carrot oil and use it instead there are lots and lots of um other ingredients in the, in the market or in your store there are other ingredients most definitely that has a higher dose of even the carotenoids if that is what you're looking at for so if you're looking for its anti-aging properties its anti-aging um reasons and that is the vitamin a in carrot this is why many people use it why don't you just buy better carotene oil and use instead so what about pineapple you've really heard that pineapple does mwah, great on your skin and would you go ahead and put pineapple you dry your pineapples and then you create pineapple oil that wouldn't be um, advisable if you know that you're going to be selling this product you want to make sure your product is as stable as so that is why I'm saying that it's better you go get an oil soluble bromelain enzyme from your supplier and use in your body butter now this is really going to help to create a very stable high performing product of you so imagine a product right now and you want to make a product with both vitamin a and bromelain so do you think i would go ahead and then buy pineapple from the market dry them buy carrot dry carrot or grate carrot and then start to create carrot oil and start to create pineapple oil separately no, there'll be no need for that actually. All you have to do, buy carotin, better carotin oil from your supplier and also buy a bromelain enzyme oil soluble extract from your supplier. This is really going to save time and energy. Trust me, and it's really going to do amazing for your skin. That's how you create a body butter. So how exactly do you go around this? Drop your comments below if you want me to create a body butter. Like I have said, and I'm going to do a practical example of the kind of ingredient that you're to use in a body butter. So if you want it to, um, you know, have a high melting point. Now, these are butters, okay? They would definitely melt off with time if heat is introduced. So you want to make sure you don't store your body butters at your window pane where, you know, light or heat can easily pass through. You don't want to do that. And you also want to make sure that you're adding some builders some thickness like steric acid like e-wax like cetyl alcohol inside your body buttons to make sure they are built up very well and they are thick enough for them to withstand heat okay a certain amount of heat not like they wouldn't melt off anymore but they will so adding thickness like beeswax like e-wax steric acid amazing you can add that to your butters to make sure they are built in very well so this is it guys for body butters i hope you learned something and if you did not please watch this video again and see if you can understand everything that i have mentioned in the video and if you did please do well to hit the thumbs button 
and share to your friends so that they can also share to their friends. Do not forget to subscribe and also drop a comment. So I want to hear from you. Should I make the carrot butter? Should I make a carrot butter? Should I make a penible butter? Should I make a custom whitening butter? Let me see. Just drop it down in the comment section. And I am going to be with you. See you all again next time. Bye.